Okay, this is the part three um, where we were talking about when you come here, you get a partner. As a celestial being, you get a partner, like an earth soul. And it's because we don't know what we're doing on the earth realm. We're not this species. We Our species works different all the way. Different mannerisms, different thought patterns, different speech patterns, different habits, etc. All the way. And so we came here to learn all of it one lifetime and do it. And then we got teamed up with like an earth soul right, right away, an advanced earth soul, because they can come in, take on a traumatic life experience, have a hardships of their own because they, they're not just walking an easy life, and then team up with us and together bring up and give love to each other and heal together. And they in turn support us on our, our like path and mission. They teach us how to have human experiences like financial management and like other human things that we can have difficulties with they teach that to us and that's our so our goal is to learn the human experience and so as we learn the human experience then these are the lessons that come with it and so as we go through it at 18 or so you're young you leave the home you run away you 15 the early get out of the house you just need it in the genetics and then from there you team up with your partner and your partner and you are going to like run away together start a family and then it takes time to develop a child so then you start a family have a kid then the kid followed by another kid and then that much love we can pass our abuse off for you to you if i get tired of yelling at you i'm gonna be yelling at you it's not one kid, it's another. If it's not one problem, it's another. And I don't have patience for problems, so now I'm yelling. But I don't hit my kids because that's against my philosophies. And so then we have to like learn and grow to the point where we see that emotional abuse is abuse too. And then adopt the principle of like, or um, vocal abuse is abuse too. And so then we have to adopt the principle of, I don't yell at my kids either. I don't like use harsh words or threaten them or make like, promises I can't keep because that's all abuse too so then your mission is you get your life experience then you run away and then theoretically you get your partner pretty early and to a lot of us like the hurts and the pains were too much for us to be able to stay with our partners the realm is just it's just not what it was supposed to like we thought it was it's just too negative and so it was a lot for us to hold on to our hurts and our partner's pains too and then come back to like keep healing with them and them and their growth being supported on it too like if it's not one of us failing it's the other one failing and then like it just becomes too much or we're like hey, i've been with you for three to five years and like we haven't done anything productive on our cycle so like i gotta leave you so i can continue my mission and like find my path and like we're not being productive. So then you'll notice like there are experiences and beings who don't find their partner and who haven't until like later in their experience, you know, like 30 before I found my partner and it's okay to have longer times before your partner because your partner's working too. And then by the time you guys catch up to each other, then you guys are meant to heal each other. And it's not just like a certain age that that happens. You both have missions and paths. And your objective is to walk that in purity and like harmony and healing and everything of that nature. And then when your partner catches up, then it's seamless. You guys just come together. You guys were meant to be. It's universal alignment. It's not looking and searching and like all of this work. It's like you're working on the self and that's what comes with the self development. Um, and then with your partner, continue healing. So now we have our partner, we have our kids, and we have ourself. Now what's our mission, of course? Like, we're just here. They're just saying those things. Well, our mission here isn't just to heal. That's just this first step. We came here first to save the planet. The planet itself is the most important thing to keep going. And then after that, it's the human species. We took the human species like karma and our genetics and self-healing. And then we spent a lot of focus for several years on other awakened beings on planetary healing. What can we do for the planet and heal her? 
and then get the space good so my kids are going to be here and their kids are going to be here and we can keep reincarnating onto this space and so then we're focused on the planet getting her chakras aligned getting her like um, field stabilized there's a lot of hurt that's happened to her that she needs healing from and if you sense any healing that you think has to happen to the planet then it's your responsibility to perform that that is where your missions come in that's where your taskings come in they tell you you feel it you have a knowing you have an inspiration you have like an imagination of hurts of pains of something that's not harmonious it's been shown and given to you so you can fix it you're the one who sees that it's broken it's your responsibility to fix it if it's in your mind it's real it's quantum reality it's quantum field and then fix it in your mind and your reality will shift to align with that it happens for all of us it's independent timelines or independent realities working together to create like a community perspective if you see a distortion fix it imagine a better thing imagine yourself healing it and then teaching the final role is teaching once you're healed in yourself you're not always completely healed we're going to learn new lessons and go through and continue forward but once we're like healed enough that we can look back into society and say i'm ready to help others we've been hurt a lot and so i see that a lot of us tend to naturally reject helping others people don't want help people have always hurt me every time i offer people to help they just hurt me nobody wants to help me we like turn it around and shift it so that way it's almost like we're alone and isolate ourselves and then after we like heal and recover then again we're ready to look outwards and say how can i help others how can i help my brothers and sisters along their path and you've learned so much about where you've come from and how you feel now that you only want to make them the same hold level and so you reach out to them and say hey this is what i've learned about going through those experiences i hope this helps you if you need more assistance let me know i'm here with you i've been there i've gone through it like I'll, we'll talk about it we'll share in that and then you you give them an opportunity to learn what you've learned we're all like going through this thing like this like building something and then we're like oh What'd you do? Oh, I like that. I like that. And then I'm going to do that. And I might not get it right the first time, but I see what you did. And because I see what you did, now I'm going to apply some of that and maybe put my twist on it because it works for you your way. But I learn a little bit differently and I like, I like what you did. It's just going to work differently for me. So then I'll take a little bit of something and then like I'll work and refine it and work and refine it until it works for me. And then I'll find the way that works for me. And then you're off still teaching your way to somebody else who it's going to help. It just helped me. Maybe not like immediately, but it gave me the door open that I was like, oh, sweet. I like what you did there. Keep pushing through it. Push through it. Don't sit in the negativity. Don't like allow the sympathy and the pity party to continue. And you bring up that all you have to do is push through it. Pushing through it gets to the other side it makes it easier if you're on the other side of the like energy push push the whole time and then like when you're done it'll go away and then when it goes away you're like that much happier like that much happier as dark as it was flips all the way to being as light as it is and then like they might not get it right away they might not push right away they might still have some reservations but eventually like we naturally push through things and as they push they're gonna see it feels good and then like it's going to be them pushing and then they're going to have the epiphany of how or what things made them push through. Maybe it's inspiration. Maybe it's motivation. We all function in a different way. And so now I'm like motivated to push through because I'm pushing through to like better myself or find my own like potential or challenge myself. And then like whatever I learn, I'm going to bring through. It's like, hey, push through, like find the inspiration, find a reason to push through. And then they got a little bit of A and a little bit of B, which made C. And then they're going to learn and pass it along. And then I'm going to keep going forward with my wit. And as we teach others, it's just going to keep spreading. And now that I'm good, then I can teach you and help you be good. I want you to feel like I feel. Every day is a good day. Every day is a good day. So, I, 
gonna end it here. Um, I hope you guys got some inspiration, some like triggered some memories, triggered some of like thoughts and ideas and images in your mind. Listen to yourself while you listen to me. What sparks of inspiration do you get? Listen to that. Apply that. Hold that nugget of information down and understand it and apply it to yourself. What is your mission? What is your reason for being here? What are your hurts, your traumas, your healings? Who are the people around you that you can help and heal like from things that you've healed and helped, like been helped from? And then we can like continue this process. Um, so next time I'm going to actually talk a little bit more about my mission itself. I know, like I said that last week, but uh, I did two videos this week. So we'll call that a makeup. And I'll talk about my mission and specifically more about where it falls within my family karma. Like we all got a family like things to hold on to. Several of us have financial difficulties. Several of the other ones don't have financial difficulties. They have financial success. And it's because of the different levels of karma in which all of us are carrying based off of our independent strengths and weaknesses. And so we'll talk a little bit more about that next week. Um, but I want to thank you guys for watching and listening. And uh, I really, really, really hope that it's inspired you guys to like see yourself for who you are and make the healing changes that you need. It's literally this first. You get this so healed and so fixed and so purified, nothing out here is impactful to it. Nothing in the experience can hold this back. And then your experience literally changes from getting this resolved. If you're poor, it's financial lack of financial responsibility and funds mismanagement. There's something internal that is lacking in that. And I'll talk a little bit more next week. So, um, but I hope you guys all have a great week and love and light.